typing of the dead. Overkill. Hey geeks, this is Andrew here from the Geekiverse, coming to you with our first ever edition of the Grizzly Geek Theater. Uh, this is a very special promotion we're doing this month, uh, getting ready for the release of Resident Evil Biohazard 7, which is coming out at the end of the month. So we said to ourselves, how can we get ready for that absolute scare fest? Well, how about we take a look at some uh, scary or scary games ourselves over the course of the month. Uh, first up, we've got Typing of the Dead Overkill. Just a little bit of background information. In case you don't know, this is actually uh, based off of House of the Dead, which was a really popular arcade game and rail shooter, which was first released in 1996 back in Japan. It made its way over to the States. Um, so popular that it spawned many sequels. There's a second, third, or fourth one. Uh, and then, of course, Typing of the Dead Overkill. I remember spending many hours myself playing the very first House of the Dead at our local arcade. And I remember the first time I beat it, it was insane. I was so proud of myself. I spent like $10 that night too. It was really expensive. Or maybe I just sucked at it. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so regular House of the Dead was very just normal, sort of cheesy zombie action. Uh, but then House of the Dead Overkill, that came out in uh, a few years ago. And that was just absolute ridiculousness. Definitely trying to capture on the uh, grindhouse aesthetic that had been made popular um, by like Quentin Tarantino, um, some Robert Rodriguez films. So just very gratuitous, very sexual, very violent, very vulgar, uh, to the point where it just, it ends up not being shocking, just kind of is funny. So that was House of the Dead Overkill. Now back in 1999, uh, when House of the Dead was still pretty popular, what uh, Sega did was they actually made the Typing of the Dead, which was same exact game of House of the Dead, except instead of shooting the zombies, you had to actually type words. And when you finish typing a word, a zombie on the screen would just uh, explode, You're gone, dead. So they did that for a lot of their other sequels too, until we finally get to what we have here, which is Typing of the Dead Overkill. Now this game is uh, very ridiculous, over the top. Um, some of it's funny, but some of it's just cringeworthy. But it ends up being pretty entertaining. So let's get into this here. Um, let me do the carny one, let's see, you can see there are many episodes here, there's a few I haven't even unlocked yet, Scream Train, yeah sure why not, let's do Scream Train, so this is one that I haven't beat yet, and when I type, I don't do like home row, I do hunt and peck, so sometimes this can be pretty difficult, but still pretty fun. You'll see almost right away that this is just over the top ridiculous. Like, who would think of this stuff? Sort of thing. Nobody motherfucking move! Barla put the gun down. We got him. My brother died trying to take down this sick fuck. I need this. I gotta do this for Jasper. Caesar's mine, Paula. Papa Caesar, you're under AMS arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can... Fuck that shit! This bastard can't live! I can't let you kill him. Let me contact my agency and we'll take him into custody. To hell with that! Fucking ace! Hard to believe they don't notice him uh, sneaking away there. platform with his eyes still open, G. Have you both lost it? <clears throat> I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint all of you. Particularly you, I think. You got the most reason to despise me or anybody here. But I have business elsewhere. Urgent business. And... Ah! You piece of shit! I'm sorry. Do continue. See you in hell, Washington. Screen trade. 200 tons of unstoppable terror burning through the night. I love the narrator. What was that? Your mama, by the sound of it. Enough with the pissing competition. We're gonna take down the... Motherfucker! <laughs> hey! The assholes! Wait for me! Shit! <laughs> Now the typing madness begins. So 
as you can see, typing the word. Zombie is disposed of. Oop, run, there we go. And there are also custom dictionaries, so you can put your own words and phrases in here too. Sometimes they have some pretty funny sayings that come up. There are also various collectibles that will be all around the level, and you can just press tab as you're playing to pick those up, like slow motion or health pickups, a bunch of different things. Stop farting. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, and I hate it when they throw stuff, because I'm such a weird typer. I actually have to look down to find it since I don't do the home row thing. Uh, can't believe I got that one. Looks like the mutagen doesn't just affect humans. Ah, that caught me flat footed. I don't know. Not look good. 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 There ain't nothing good about this whole motherfucking situation. Uh, gee. There we go. That's always my best strategy. When I get those ones that throw stuff at me, it's wait for them to throw first, then. Uh, then I'll actually try to kill them. What the hell is piffling? Oh, I think I just missed a collectible. Shit. Jay. Sometimes I find myself just constantly pressing tab in between zombie attacks just in case there's something there. They can be hard to spot. Sometimes they go by really quickly too. So this game can be pretty buggy. Like as you can see, that guy had no arms. One guy had no torso. I've tried uninstalling, reinstalling. I think it's just the port. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, there's a slow-mo thing. It's that little uh, red glowy guy. So I can grab that. Slows it all down. Have way more time. Really seem like it's needed in this part though. Unless there's something I'm missing. L M. If you're in the middle of typing a word and somebody throws something at you, you can hit backspace. Ah! It'll back you out of the words, so then you can press a little button to deflect the thrown object. He was drunk. That's a good one. Ooh, got that one. Boom, bang, bang. Got that collectible too. Now this is my kind of place. Traveling in style, baby. Um. This was pretty intense. Shit, man. Oh, oh, that was close. I 
think I'd have to go back to the beginning and check, but I feel like the words get more complex, words and phrases, as you are advancing. Some of them are just messed up. Absolutely necessary. Motherfucker, did yeah. you have no ticket? Definitely necessary. No, 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 no! So we can save this guy. Nope! The sausage has got me. Sorry, boy. That was my bad. Really use some health here, though. Just a few severed heads. I guess that's the boss at the end of the level. Dressed up like Mario. He even had a mustache. I think we've got all the authority we need right here. Get your claws out of my motherfucking face. Oh, boss fight. I don't even know what that word was. Kit kitched. Maybe not the boss fight yet. That of France and cheese. Don't touch that. We've got enough problem without these guys getting out. I'm sure they will get out though. I 
My problem when I play this is I have to take a look because of the way I type. See what the word is and just hopefully, I hope I can remember how to spell it. Because I have to look down the entire time while I type. Not all the time, most of the time anyway. Holy shit! Christmas came early! Ah! That was a little unfair, I, I feel. That was a long word. Short notice. What's been going on here? Again, some short notice. Alright, now it's probably the boss fight. In total. This is your driver speaking. Papa season. We're running ahead of schedule, and we'll be reaching our final destination far, far sooner than expected. So I even remember these these types of screens in the original House of the Dead, the actual shooter, where it tell you like where to shoot the boss. Boss fights are pretty much more the same, just you type the word. Sometimes they'll, they'll toss stuff at you too. Don't you know it's rude to spit? That's new. Never had numbers in there before, I think. I don't think. Look out! It's going to charge! See the word. That was interesting too. I've never had one like where they're blocking it. Ooh, it popped out its eye. See what awesomeness this cutscene has in store. Ah, that shit's icky. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, Rambo, don't get all fucking macho. I hate bugs, and that was their fucking bug king. And speaking of bugs, Caesar, you fucking in there? You. probably the end. Yep. So how'd I do? Uh, I missed a figurine. Missed a civilian. Oh well. But anyway, that's the game. Um, I'll show you here. This is available on Steam. I believe it's $19.99. And it uh, doesn't just come with this, the base game typing of the dead, but it also comes with the original House of the Dead Overkill, which is the light gun control game. With this one, though, instead of using a light gun, you just use your mouse to shoot, which is it's pretty fun. You can buy uh, gun upgrades and things like that, so 
I, I started going through that one. I've got like a shotgun and uh, an SMG that I use, which makes the game a lot easier. Um, it's still pretty fun. So anyway, that's House of the, uh, Typing of the Dead Overkill. Just a fun little introduction to our Grizzly Geek Theater segment. So uh, coming up next, uh, we've got a few more games planned on doing, such as Cry of Fear, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Dead Island, Fear, and Outlast. So some of them uh, a lot more scary than others. This is just a nice little uh, introduction to the uh, segment. So this is Andrew signing off for the Geekiverse. Be sure to check us out on our social media. Uh, we're all on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Geekiverse. Uh, Twitter, at the underscore Geekiverse. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, which you're watching us on right now. Lots of awesome videos there, uh, like the Grumpy Geek, the Walking Carpet. Tons of good content there, so be sure to check that out. I'll see you next time. Thanks.